Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, nothing too crazily profound today, but maybe we will even do a bit of a fun one uh, in regards to decoding the matrix and um, what that means for you know us with these arconic overlays for our personalities, for our attributes and qualities. Right, so taking taking a look at myself more and others through you know many of my readings and just studying people in general observing for example i'm born in 96 making me a rat in chinese astrology now the term rat is found in the word matrix right uh with the letters a r t being in matrix and you know, they want really they want to turn us all into rats right it's, that's why it's called the rat race when you work the nine to five you're chasing cheese they call money cheese right um and the rat can be very similar to the, the spirit trapped in the maze of the energy of vibration of the system the matrix right what we define as the matrix and most people become that rat you know even if they're not necessarily the Chinese astrology rat, which by the way, in the race, the rat wins in the Chinese tail, but he wins by riding on the ox's back. Okay, so the rats are very good at smelling the cheese and finding the cheese, but at the end, they're just still a rat, right? Um, and the, the ox can, are uh, soulmates uh, with the rat, and you can actually even attribute the ox to being the matrix itself the rat is in a sense uh soulmates with the matrix because he's able to right matrix soulmates right he's able to decode it and see the the maze for what it is a huge maze and find the path but not the path out necessarily although he could if um he potentially stopped chasing the cheese right so if the rat wakes up and realizes he is in the maze and his focus doesn't become the cheese anymore, right? The money or the material pleasures of the world, he turns inwards and stops playing the game, right? He stops being part of the science experiment, which like I've mentioned is what I think could be going on here, right? It's shown in series like 1899 in Westworld. It's a giant game or experiment uh, predator versus prey, who's the biggest predator, who's the apex predator, right? Similar to the Demiurge itself. And if all of us really stop being these rats, stop chasing that cheese, can we maybe even use the Minotaur or the other ox part of the matrix itself to bust through these walls to find the exit and choose to stop playing right because like i've mentioned there are only really two choices in this free will scenario and that's to play or not to play when you choose to play your choice is then gone because you have to follow the script because that's what you were given right essentially now how does this apply to life path numbers because i've also noticed that when people adopt a certain belief system of course that is mirrored in our reality right we see um, reassurances of that right uh, it feeds on our belief system and it grows and it grows but again what I try to do here is be very objective rather than subjective and take multiple experiences into account multiple ideas multiple religions multiple philosophies and try to find a little bit of truth that is in that buried underneath the pile of hay right finding the needle and take the needle take the puzzle piece put it together make a huge puzzle uh, and get the full picture and when we adopt a belief system based on our programming which is that life path number that numerology we then put our own twist on it oh we're in a reincarnation system matrix whatever as a seven my natural inclination is to detach and my natural solution, like you've seen on this channel, is to say stop playing the game, stop feeding it of your energy. Is that the only correct solution? Or is that the correct solution to begin with? I don't know, but I am aware that that is a preconditioned program that I'm part of. So let's go through all the numbers 
so that um, we can see any traps that we can fall into based on this programming okay so the number one number one is the one that gets uh, what's it called uh, beginners luck they're the ones that start things right they create their initiators leaders they're likely to say oh we're in a reincarnation system let's beat it let's be the best at it let's win the game let's conquer the demiurge and be the new king <laughs> this is a trap right because you just you're just wanting to play the game still right um you're wanting to be the best at it or you might they may even start their own matrix something like that uh the twos these are very friendly people they also like to explore and therefore meet new people uh they're very psychic as well they can receive twos and elevens they can receive much, many uh, much information from the system from the entities from the uh, archons themselves right so they can be played in that regard they're the ones to explore the astrals to figure out to see everything um how it is which can be very good in terms of mapping the system just like the rat right mapping the maze but you can get stuck in all the illusions all the fancy environments all the beauty right the illusory beauty that exists all the friendly entities that can show up because there are friendly entities of course and you know say oh we'll just come back uh come back next time right so that's a trap for them the threes they can have a very strong focus on tradition on their own beliefs maintaining those beliefs right so they can gain information and all of a sudden feel a sense of power and decide to use it for their own good right it can be very egoic they're the teachers so as a teacher you're going to want to be sure and confident of the information that you're spreading right otherwise you wouldn't teach it because you're not sure of it so they're the ones likely to be gurus or you know kind of like second in command to the matrix and work for the matrix marketing department even saying well if you just do this you can ascend and you can promote and level up right they're the typical gurus that you see on on youtube telling you all this occult information that really doesn't get you anywhere in terms of the matrix system the fours the fours are the rebels um they're the ones that can be more of like the law and order of the matrix more of the ones likely to become uh police right part of maintaining a structure even though they're rebels themselves they like to exercise control over others and uh, feel a sense of power so they can be very similar to the threes in terms of they gain a little bit of knowledge and then they use it for power control and maintaining the system really um so they can feel like they're rebels they can feel like they're doing something completely against the herd but as fours uh we need to analyze whether it's truly against the herd or we've just fallen into a sort of um uh, counter managed psyop right a pitfall that was initially designed to catch people that are thinking in a counterculture type of way and then it gets them to feel good it gets them to feel like their identity is recognized right like they found the answer fives fives are mainly pleasure seeking they're quick witty they like to uh move on very quickly so they're likely not to stick to one subject very much and they'll hear little bits take it and not likely to dive fully into the truth and figure things out deeper than their surface level so as a five i recommend really focusing on something and trying to extract as much as you can from it and therefore gaining your attention um or sorry leveling up your attention um so that you don't just hear one little thing and think oh that's the truth right for example you just got out of religion you heard one little thing about new age and how it counteracts religion makes more sense and you're like ah oh, that's the thing yeah, that's it i'm done <laughs> next thing which of course i could be like that too sometimes i feel like i'm i'm like that usually in terms of uh, a belief system i i'm very open-minded and I don't hold on to it i don't think oh this is the, the way right but this is the only one that's stuck for such for such a long period in terms of the evidence and what makes more sense so far but we'll see right it could change down the line for sure but um i like to keep it open so that any other information that comes in i see how it fits 
the sixes the sixes are addicted to the worldly pleasures so they're more likely to get stuck in the material level of the, the matrix where you know whatever looks good uh is beautiful right so if it's beautiful then it must be of god it must be of source but you know we've seen cheap tricks we've seen fool's gold right it's beautiful on the outside but on the inside there's nothing right so if the sixes realize that the the beauty the materiality is there's not much to it it's hollow then they can get past that programming the sevens like i mentioned are very detached very in their head a lot of thinking this can actually cloud up their mind a lot too much thinking just keeps you in the ego mind and you can't go past it you can't um tap into the true spirit and receive the necessary information that you're essentially remembering right the sevens are very prone also to the lesson idea oh we're here to learn lessons we're here to become better uh pass the test right the sevens are the eternal scholar so they'll fall uh, hook line and sinker for that one because they love to learn and if you tell them the whole world is a learning machine then of course they're going to want to be the best at it, especially if they have a huge ego so that's something that uh s7s myself included need to understand um and that was something i was thinking about with lessons if you have a lesson you're less on you know breaking down the world word i don't know english is English just seems to be the only one that's coded this way with the etymology, with the spelling right, right in front of your face, with the, the double speak idea. Although Phoenician can, can likely be like that um, because the definition is based on that. It's a deaf Phoenician, right? Someone that only looks at things at the surface level. And they only see the word for what it is. Now with the eight, the eights are very interesting as well because you can tell them this is a reincarnation place. And they'll still fall for the idea that, oh, well, we have to work hard then to get out of it. We have to pay our karma, right? AIDS all about karma. So it's a preconditioned programming that they were given um, upon birth on their soul, the soul construct, right? That's what's evolving the soul, which is the ego. And in that soul capsule is the spirit too, but the spirit's always been spirit. So they love to work hard. They love to, you know, please their superiors, uh, maintain ethics, be good people. They're very strong in ethics. They're very good-hearted. They love to give of themselves. They love to also self-sacrifice. Um, not as much as the next one, nine, but they also love to give their time and energy to others and help and be of service in the world, right? So they can get tricked into this idea that, oh, I just need to give more of myself. I just need to be a better person. There is really no absolute morality here. It's all good contains a little bit of evil and evil contains a little bit of the fake good, right? So there's it's two sides of the same coin. Nothing's really integrated. And the nines, and if I was to say anything, I think Jesus would, would have been a nine. Although his higher spirit would have seen the larger purpose potentially. But nines are martyrs. They're the ones with great goals. They want to sacrifice themselves to the greater good they want to save all of humanity right so you tell them this is a matrix well the nines just want to help everyone get out right and that's just likely not possible not even jesus did that right um because only the ones that truly choose that are going to walk that path uh you're, you're not going to pull them all out in even like in the matrix movies uh they say you can't just unplug someone because that will actually do you more harm than good and do them more harm than good as well because they're not ready they can't maybe they're not even unpluggable they can't process such truths they're not willing to right at the end of the day it is a choice between this place and the true source realms because if they want to continue playing the game they're having fun you can't really make them come home and that's largely the only explanation that i've concluded in terms of why doesn't the source just stop this whole place right if the, the source is truly omnip omnipotent and um you know has the ability to do as it wishes why doesn't it and likely because of this somewhat free will component in which we are choosing to be here right can make the argument that hey if someone's in a casino and you can tell they're addicted 
they've been there too long, you have to forcefully pull them out. And in a sense, you can't burn down the whole place because you know they're in there, right? Kind of like Jesus said, he came here to burn down the place to set fire to the world. But, um, yeah, that's what the nines are. Nines are fighters. They want to fight the bad. They want to, or fight the good, even, depending on how they see themselves, right? Um, but they're, they want to change. They want to change the matrix and save it. Some things like that, right? So yeah, that's uh, oh, and uh, the whole idea of self improvement as well. They're big on that. They want to improve themselves and improve themselves until they can't improve anymore. But that in and of itself is a huge trap. First of all, because self improvement can then be used against the self as a weapon. That when you're not doing those things, that you're bad and you're not you're not good enough. So then self-acceptance must follow. But again, two sides of the same coin, two polarities. Okay, the self, the, this and that. But the self is not the true self. It's that construct. It's only the ego that learns these lessons. It's only the ego that gets hurt, beaten up, and then, oh, look at this. It's a god now. It's beautiful. It's all loving or whatever. So, I don't know. <laughs> is that the true work? that we should be doing here making turning these little devils into gods or is that just what they want us to think right um again it's largely programming so just a fun little video today um something to think about something to analyze about your own belief systems how have they been shaping your larger belief system or your own preconditioned programming how, how has it been shaping your larger uh, belief system um, I still do my numerology readings from time to time um, so if you'd like that check the my channel there's a video describing all of it how I how I do it and if you'd like to purchase you can find the link there if you'd like to learn all this I also have a course but it's it's up to you it's all <laughs> it's all mumbo jumbo pretty much <laughs> it's all matrix language and it's not really something you need Right, but it can help you learn the programming, helps you learn uh, the traps, which I do teach, I do show from what I've reasoned and learned myself so far. Okay, all right, guys, thanks again for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, comment below, let me know what you thought. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.